Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Tim Melankford, and I am honored that you have chosen 11 a.m. on a Friday to join us on our, our national conference call. You know, it happens every Friday. Every Friday, 11 a.m., well, I, uh, I get to feature an agent who is making it happen. I greet you, and I encourage you to live by the words that are so near and dear to my heart. I, uh, I love it when there's somebody greater than I, somebody who is, who is you know, over the universe saying to me, I've got plans for you. I've got plans to prosper you, and my plans are not to harm you. I have plans to give you a future and a hope. You know, that still just gives me, uh, um, what other word that sounds a little bit dorky, but it gives me the tingles to know that a, 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 a God who's in control of everything comes to me and says, I want you to prosper. So my exhortation to you is to see this as beyond yourself, bigger than yourself, and what I feel is almost a, a, a command for us to go out and help others. Uh, you have picked, uh, I, I, I see several new names uh, this morning. Uh, so if you are new to the insurance business, then let me, uh, let me applaud you for being involved in a business that makes it a, a, a tremendous impact on people's lives. When uh, and I, I probably you may get tired. I hope you don't of, of hearing me say uh, when you think of mortgage protection, just on mortgage protection alone, five hundred dollars a month per month, just five hundred dollars could have saved over thirty percent of the homes that went into foreclosure last year. And you know this call is so much bigger than mortgage protection. Um, in uh, on this call, uh, we'll talk about single premium whole life. We'll talk about final expense. We'll talk about federal employee benefit programs. We'll talk about index universal life annuities. So it is so much bigger than when I say mortgage protection. But understand that is a platform that if you uh, <laughs> you can you can make an incredible living by just running mortgage protection leads. Our, uh, our guest agent this, uh, this morning has done just that. She has made an incredible impact on her family's income by just running, initially was, was really just final expense leads. And then it kind of grew into mortgage protection leads. And now she's already making a name for herself on the federal employee benefit program. Before I, I, we, we get to her, and I, I want to jump and, and get Danielle on the call right now, but we are going to do some celebrating. We're going to be able to uh, uh, celebrate some, uh, some agents' uh, success this last week. Even before I do that, I want to share with you what, uh, what's a very important video. I hope, uh, I hope this video, uh, and it's going to be, it's, it's, it's going to be what? five minutes long, so I'm risking five minutes here of, of taking time away from Danielle, but I, I, I think you're going to appreciate this. Well, I'm disappointed to hear, so uh, I've had a couple people come back and tell me that they're not getting any sound, so we'll stop here. Uh, the video is not nearly as impactful, of course, when you have sound. 
promise me this before you uh, you end your day today go over to uh, and, and you can even find it through the, the pastor, Pastor Adeleha. He has it posted. But if you just simply go to uh, uh, remember this, when you feel like quitting, this is a, it is one of my favorite videos. Uh, and it's not even just a matter of quitting as much as it is a matter of testing the limits, verifying in your heart, are you giving it your all? And I, there's there's too many times that I can I can think of even in just the last few months that this video when I watched it again yesterday it just kind of tugged at my heart and said really did I really go that extra effort to help that family did I am I pouring enough into my own spirit that I, I'm I'm helping. I'm not just overcoming objections so I can make the sale. So please hear my hear the spirit behind my when, when I say those words. Did you pour into your spirit enough videos and, and enough CDs and enough DVDs and an, a, enough conference calls to help you overcome the objections that we get in the home? Sometimes it's a it's a matter of helping people get over. Oh, I, I don't know how else to say it, but other getting over stupid. <laughs> I say it with a smile on my heart, but a sad heart, a smile on my face, but with a sad heart when the agent has not received at least four objections. If we are not receiving at least four objections in the home when you're saying, hey guys, this is to help you not cause your, your family to have to pay for your funeral. This is, uh, this is to help your wife, Mr. Client, when you pass away, not if, remember, but when you pass away uh, to make sure she stays in her home. Anyhow, please, please uh, look up this, this video. It will, it will bring a smile to your face and a challenge to your heart. With, with that being said, I get to introduce you again to, uh, to our, you know, what, what brings the word lovely to, to mind in our department, and it goes by the name of Elisha. And uh, Elisha, as you know, each week goes over our leaderboards. The leaderboards, they you'll, you'll hear one that talks about annuities and one that I, we may come up with a better word other than double dippers, but, uh, but agents who are really um, going a little bit extra to make sure that that money of their clients are being protected. So anyone who's on the mortgage protection team, but also whether you've written a, a $5,000 annuity or a $500,000 annuity, I'm going to, we, we want to recognize those folks as well, and then uh, she'll also talk about life premium after that. So, uh, uh, Miss Alicia, do I have you on the phone? I'm here. Hi, Alicia. It's all yours. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We're going to get straight to the leaderboard for the second week of June. So I'm going to start off with the top annuity producer for this week. This agent submitted an uh, annuity totals over $100,000. Drum roll, please. Millie Gailey, one application for a total of $150,000. Congratulations, Millie. Great job. Now we'll move on to the double dippers. These are the agents that are writing both life and annuity business. The first double dipper for the week is Jonathan Acevedo, one application for $73,000 in premium. And the second is Randy Patriz Sr., two applications, $78,000. Good job, guys. Now we'll move on to the top 20 life producers for the second week of June. All of these agents have written a minimum of $1,500 in business this week. At number 20, we have Daniel Grazy. One application, $1,534. Number 19, Del Rice. Three applications, $1,542. Number 18, John Gullickson. Two applications, $1,718. Number 17, Thomas Faveda. Two applications, $1,842. Number 16, Paul Kozak. Four applications, $2,027. In the number 15 spot, we have Paul Michael Brinson. Four applications, $2,119. Number 14, Robert Cannon. Two applications, $2,248. Number 13, Daniel Allette. One application, 
$2,400. Number 12, Jennifer Green, two applications, $2,465. Number 11, Juan Mendez, one application, $2,512. And now for the top 10. And number 10, Jeffrey Chance, five applications, $2,830. Tim Langford comes in at number nine with five applications, total $3,414. Number eight, Kevin Bianchi, five applications, $4,276. Number seven, Zach Rawson, one application, $4,653. Number six, Larry Brooks, five applications, $5,593. And now for the top five live producers for the week. Josh Civic comes in at number five, seven applications, $6,452. Number four, Danielle Byrne, five applications, $7,875. Three, number three, Eric Coons, six applications, $8,174. Number two, Doug Voigt, nine applications, $8,440. And your number one top life producer for the second week of June is Scott Surface, four applications, $9,439. Congrats to Scott to the top 20. Have a good weekend, everybody. I wish I could clone you, were, what was my words, back to, to Danielle. <laughs> and it came from a, from a very sincere uh, heart that said, Danielle, you're killing it in the mortgage protection field. You've killed it in the final expense field. And now she's branched off into the, the uh, uh, federal employee benefit market. And she, what, what, one of the key words that, or one of the key attributes you'll hear come out of Danielle's uh, heart as you hear her over this conference call is the fact that she is a supreme uh, she does a terrific job learning key in on that she does a terrific job learning how to sell it, it, it it's not a matter of oh I've got this let me run with this no it's not what she will come back to do is say what's next how do I hear more? Where do I go with this? So it is absolutely a, a blessing to be able to have Danielle. And, and Danielle, if you want to call back in, I, have, I, I saw you and then I've just lost you. Um, we may, uh, I may just go ahead and call Danielle back on the phone. We'll see if she connects. If not, we'll just call her on the phone. Terrific. Being a mom of young children, on top of that, a very busy person when it comes with a, let me put her on speakerphone. Here. Here, well, hey, Miss Danielle. Um, Hi, I was uh, on the webinar and I got disconnected from the phone, so I'm 
<laughs> no, no, no problem at all. I had a couple uh, folks for some reason we're having some a little bit of audio problem, but I think we're back going well. And as long as we've got you, um, I can probably unmute you and take you off of uh, off of my cell phone. Do we want to try that? Because I see you back on the call. Uh, wait, you see me back on the call? Is that what you said? I do. Yeah. So let me. I'll 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 mute this so that you can see, let me see if I can hear you when I unmute your your phone on the or your mic on the uh, the webinar itself. Okay, hold on. Um, Danielle, I have you. Should I get off the phone? We are off the phone. Terrific. How's that? Or, or do you hear hear my voice okay? I hear your voice, but I don't know if you guys hear mine. We sure do. You are on it and better than, okay. than the cell phone connection. So thank you. I was just okay. telling my, uh, my text back to you yesterday when I was just saying, I wish I could clone you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, I was emphasizing on the spirit that you have, um, even though you are, I mean, what were you, number one in the wor in the nation last year for, for Royal Neighbors on the final expense side, but very accomplished in the mortgage protection and did, what, over $8,000 last week on the uh, in brand new in the federal employee benefit program. Uh, I, want, I want folks to be able to hear how you connect with people and um, as we were talking back and forth a little bit, that some folks are having a little bit of struggle with justifying the price of, of, of our programs, whether it is in any of the programs we talked about. How are you doing that? More importantly, just introduce yourself and uh, uh, please say hi to everybody. We're, looks like we're in over about 30 states right now and uh, uh, love the idea of you being able to make an impact on, on all these people's lives. Okay. Um, well, thank you for the wonderful introduction, Tim. And let me know if at any time you can't hear me. Okay. Um, I just, uh, I don't know what it is. I just don't trust the internet. I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm going to get disconnected. Um, but, um, but so first and foremost, I'm Danielle Byrne. I'm out of Virginia. And, um, you know, that's a, I think that, that agents, whether they're, whether they're new or they're old, they, or they're seasoned, or they're, you know, really been in the game a long time, I think that we're all subject to reverting back to a place of complacency in this business. And I think that when you get complacent in this business, you start to focus on things like price. Um, I don't really use that word, price. Um, you know, I mean, the only time I'm using the word price is when I'm when I'm talking about value over price. And when you have the array of carriers that you guys have access to, what you need to do is utilize the, okay, for example, let's see, I'm looking here. Okay, first of all, Phoenix, okay. Phoenix has... And this is just a little bit about what I know about each carrier when you can position the value over the price. Um, there's, there's a step, there's, there's a few steps. So let me take a couple steps back real quick. So when, you, when you're in the home after you've built rapport uh, and you are doing your fact finding, it is your job to, as I say, find the leak, find the hole, uh, you know, put the, fix the dam, so to speak. Uh, if you if you can adequately find out their why, you will be able to position yourself and set yourself up for the rest of the um, for, for the rest of the life cycle of protecting the family. Um, when you go in there with, you know, oh they can't afford this, you know that's a very very self centered uh, statement because you have no idea what they can afford. You have no idea what they've been through. You have no idea what they've just gone through. So I think it's very important to clear your mind and your heart before you walk into somebody's home and just ask that whatever you believe in, whether that's the universe, God, Jesus, Buddha, uh, whatever the case may be, just ask that you be guided in the proper direction when you go into that home because if you've ever sat down and asked how many times a year 
or how many times in their life they've sat down and talked about life insurance to these folks that you're helping. I mean, if they give you an honest answer, they're going to say this is the first or second time. I mean, this is middle America. You know, this is who we're serving. Um, and uh, so, you know, on that, in that same, you know, arena, I think it really starts way before you get in the home, um, being able to leave everything at home that you're dealing with. And, and believe me, um, that is not to say that I myself don't have uh, some serious uh, struggles. I went back and forth 12 times last week between is my husband going to deploy or is he going to be on shore or is he going to deploy or is he going to be on shore and you know I think that part of being a Navy wife has allowed me to totally surrender all of the results uh, that are going to take place and just know that I will be given the tools to to handle them when they come up so um, you know like I said I, I think that taking price out of our vocabulary is important I think asking quality questions in a home and being able to find out the disparities in income, what exactly happens when the other one passes away, and being able to paint that picture of what it's going to look like when the other one passes away. I think it's important to know that survivor benefits don't cover 100%. Um, and what I mean by that is if, if someone's getting a pension for $1,000 and they have elected survivor benefits, the spouse, the surviving spouse is getting 500 if they haven't elected survivor benefits, the surviving spouse is getting nothing. So, you know, that's very important. So, um, you know, so, av so all before you go in the home, that would be, um, that would be the arena and where I would take price off the table. The other thing too is we're putting the cart before the horse here because you have no idea if these people can qualify for the products that you have. And that's your job is to go into the home, act as the field underwriter, and say that you're the liaison, you know, between um, between the state regulated program that you're representing and the company and the client. And um, most of the products that we do are non-med, uh, so you know you, you can't put the cart before the horse here. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean I'm trying? I can't sell you anything. I can't sell you anything. Because the truth is, is that you can't. I had a guy one time purchase a policy from me that was $648 a month, and the only reason that I wrote the policy was because I was tired of arguing back and forth with them, not arguing, but you know, intellectual, intellectually conversing, telling them that he wasn't going to get approved. I knew for a fact he was not going to get approved. He had a heart valve replacement. There is no term policy that I'm aware of that he would get approved, but I eventually conceded with the client because they needed to see that he was declined. So that being said, um, kind of forget how I got off on track on that. Yes, you could write anybody a policy. Oh yeah, I wrote a guy with congestive heart fail a fi failure of five hundred thousand dollar term. Yeah, good for you. You know, it's not going to translate to any money for you or your family. You know, so getting good at telling people what they can qualify for and what they can have is very important. Um, but also, you know, not making, you're not going in there like a salesperson. You're going in there as an advisor in, in a spirit of service to the family. Um, so, you know, that being said, you want to put people in a better position than when you found them. And, um, you know, and what I was trying to uh, accomplish before was talking about all of the different benefits that each of those carriers have. Um, you know, there is a page, I don't know if it still exists because I feel like a, dinosaur when I say this. There used to be a page uh, with Mutual of Omaha and it was called the No Cost Riders from Mutual of Omaha and I'm sure Tim knows this. They have a they have a rider that if you have twenty five thousand dollars or more of damage to your home that they'll waive the policy premium for six months. And people have damage to their home all the time because of natural disasters. There was just an earthquake in uh, in California. Um, you know the I believe that Mutual of Omaha also has chronic critical and terminal illness included. So does Phoenix. They have living benefits. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be positioning uh, these added benefits when you're talking about whole life or you're talking about um, or you're talking about mortgage protection. And forget about Foresters. If you don't know the Foresters benefits and you're not well versed on them, you're not you're not an agent for Foresters because being able to show somebody, okay, this is a $10,000 whole life policy. This is going to take care of 
you know, your funeral, your family can feel more than confident bringing this to the funeral home. Oh, and by the way, if you want something a little bit more in writing by a local attorney, you know, they'll do a legal will, you know, they'll do a will for you. Um, you know, I mean, forget about it. When you start educating yourself on the forester's benefits, there's almost no reason to write any other carrier, but, I, you know, I shouldn't say that on this call, but my, my point is that the benefits uh, are the same, or excuse me, the price uh, is the same with foresters as it is with most other carriers between five or ten dollars a month, you know, not not uh, you know not too big of a difference. But when you sell value over price, uh, you will win every time. Um, you know, and finding premium is important. Being able to find premium for folks, um, you know, I know we do that a lot in the Fed program, but there's no reason that you can't do it in the traditional um, life insurance sales program either. So, you know, my my best response to to how do you justify or how do you get people? I mean, really and truly, stepping back and 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 remembering that you're not going in there trying to make a sale. Because why are you going in there? Are you going in there because you want to send your child to private school? Are you going in there because you want to quit your job? Are you going in there because um, there's a certain therapy for a sick child that you have that you want to be able to afford? I mean, what is your why? Because if you don't know why you're doing this, you will fizzle out faster than than anything. Um, you know, I was originally thought I was motivated by money, but believe me, once the money comes, you run out of stuff to buy. Like, yeah, I'm not saying you run out of stuff to buy because you could always find something to buy, but money is not going to make you happy. It's more like the relationships that you have in your life and how you can better those relationships. Um, you know, my sister came into town recently with her family, and they're in the process of moving. And neither of them have jobs yet. They're really taking a leap of faith here with God. Um, and uh, it felt great to be able to, uh, you know, go out to dinner, you know, three days in a row, really, and and pay for everybody. And not from a place of ego, but from a place of, hey, listen, I know you're in transition in your life. It's it's okay. I got it because I do got it. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like it's such a great feeling to be able to to pass on that opportunity. Um, that you've created for yourself to others. Um, and, you know, I mean, I, I know Tim has mentioned before, I do volunteer work with my son and we give back to the community and stuff, but it's also nice to do something right, you know, there in your family. It's not from a place of trying to show off or, or whatever, but, hey, you know, I know you guys got some bills and you have no job, so let's, um, let's try and help out a little bit here and there when we can. So... Um, you know, with that, Tim, uh, I know that your folks are good question askers, so I want to leave time for that. Um, if they do have questions or if you want me to hone in on something specific, just let me know. No, that's that's extremely pertinent. Are there any specific ways that you phrase a uh, – some people – are very reluctant. Agents are very reluctant to say, hey, guys, I'm here to give you a big overview. Um, how much money do you make? Uh, how much, How much? you know, just straight up questions. But is there any ways to kind of ease into those questions? Because we do need to know how much life insurance they have. We do need to know how much savings they have. You know, what's in your 401k? What are some of those those transitional phrases that you use to help ease oh, yeah. those type of questions? The first time that you're meeting somebody, a total stranger, and in 15 minutes you're prying into their checkbook. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So um, I've got a few key phrases that I use uh, transitionally. I mean, it starts, number one, with confidence. And if you're not confident, um, you got to get confident real quick. Call one of your uh, uplines. Call somebody. Call me. I don't care. Before you go into a home, you know, um, and just remember that you're there with a service uh, mentality. Um, so you get down, you build some rapport, you take some notes and whatnot. And and uh, some people like to put the fire out right away before it even starts. Okay. So um, I know a common a common uh, phrase that I will say if I'm feeling as though they're not going to. Um, as though they're not going to come forward with the information. Because let's face it, there's some folks that will come forward with everything. They'll just bleed it out. And then there's others that are like, why do you need to know everything? So um, so one of the best phrases that I uh, have come up with is, um, you know what, folks, you know, Bob, Mary, you know, I, we're going to talk about two things today that that nobody likes to talk about, okay? <laughs> and uh, by doing that, I've grouped them with the rest of the crowd, you know, and I tell them we're going to talk about um, death <laughs> and finances. 
And uh, I think that's a pretty fair statement, you know. Um, and and do I have uh, so so when I've established the fact that I'm going to talk about death and finances, they kind of laugh or they they agree. Yeah, nobody wants to talk about death and finances. Those are two of the most awful things. I mean, I might as well add taxes to it. Uh, but we might talk about that too. Um, and um, I say we're going to talk about death and finances today. And um, you know, do I have permission to tell you the truth? And in my professional career and my per personal career, uh, or personal life, excuse me, um, I have never had anybody say, oh yeah, I want you to lie to me. You know, so by nature, they're going to say yes. Um, and then after that, what you've been able to do is open up a big can of worms because they just give you permission to ask about their finances. Um, and they've also given you permission to tell them the truth. So you got to um, so that's a really good way there to uh, transition into that. And, and you know, I'm pretty casual with a lot of those, those, um, those questions. I'll just be like, you know, what do you, you know, what are you getting deposited on a weekly or monthly basis? Or, you know, I don't say, like, how much do you make? Do you have your W-2? You know, I mean, I need round figures. I don't need down to the penny, you know. Um, I need round figures. Yeah, I'm taking home about 1600 every two weeks. Oh, okay, great. You know, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, if you can do basic math, you can work that stuff out. And, um, and some of those questions are harder, but you also have to know uh, the more you do it, the more swings you take, the more shots you take, you know, you will start to learn where you want to hone in and drill on and where you want to let up. And you also, it does get more easier the more times you ask those questions. Um, you know, I'll say, do you have anything that acts like life insurance? And when I say that, I'm talking about TSPs, 401ks, IRAs, 457Bs, whatever the heck you got. You have anything that acts like life insurance besides your life insurance. You know, you have a CD sent in the bank. You got $10,000 cash for a rainy day. You know, and I'll give them examples like that. So, um, so, um, and then, and to add that to that too, if you've done all that correctly, if you've done all that correctly, you will um, you will be able to um, you know feel more comfortable. But let's say that you do it, and the people agree. They told you that they can tell you that, that you can tell them the truth. But let's say you're going through, and all of a sudden they say, uh, "So why do you need to know all this stuff again?" Okay. So at that point, if they do that, which that's happened to me plenty of times, um, if they do that, then is when I'll usually cut the tension with a joke. And I'll put the pencil down, the pen, whatever I'm working with, I'll put everything on the table and I'll look at, it's asked me in the eyes and I'll say, listen, so I need to be able to give a professional recommendation. You know, my license, my state license requires that I make a professional recommendation to you. So I definitely want to get a uh, good bird's eye view of what's, you know, what's going on. And um, you know what, when we get down to the um, checking and savings account, if I find out that you're a million liquid, I'm just going to walk out because you don't need anything. You know what I mean? I'll make a joke or something like that. And they get that. You know what I'm saying? Because let's face it, the people that we're working with don't have a million dollars in their checking account. But if they do, we might as well pack our bags and leave, right? And, of course, that's not really true. Of course, we'll try and get that money. But my uh, my point in saying that is, is that the laughter cuts the tension. Um, also asking for a drink, glass of water. I asked the other guy, a guy the other day to make me a pot of coffee. I needed a cup of coffee before I went to my next client. I needed one. I was just like, you know, and he was all about it. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh, yeah, absolutely. So, um, so if that, if that kind of, that, that's my best answer to transitioning um, to asking the nitty gritty tough questions. How's that, Tim? <laughs> oh my goodness, now, folks! I, I hope that you're taking notes. Just real quickly, uh, some of the things that that if, if I may kind of regurgitate the, uh, uh, the, so many things to share. If you become a duplicator in this business, you will make the same success as the one who you're listening to. That is just business 101. Um, one of one of my uh, uh, authors I'd love to read is Anthony Robbins. He gets kind of out there sometimes, but uh, Awaken the Giant Within that he talks about in uh, what is it uh, uh, NLP Neuro Linguistic Programming. If you will become a student of that, when I was talking earlier about how much are you pouring into yourself with with uh, 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 CDs and, and DVDs and, and your MP3 player and, and these type of calls, 
listen to what Danielle is, is sharing there. Service mentality, confidence, Bob Mary, where we're going to we're going to talk about a couple things here nobody wants to talk about. Do I have your permission to tell you the truth? Guys, this is this is awesome. <laughs> I'll say that myself on my call. Um, this is awesome. You are listening to a gal who is who is by far um, in in, in uh, uh, the elite of the elite income earners out there, willing to pour into you. And uh, um, I, I can tell from we're actually getting more now on the call than we did 15 minutes ago. That Danielle, you're you're resonating with with these folks. Thank you. Um, you can access this same call because if you didn't take notes, we're, we're not going to go over any more of it than what Danielle just shared. But you can now go to our website www.gordonmarketing.com, hover or, or, or click on the agent website. And then you've got a just a myriad of calculators and and wonderful resources on our website. But hover your cursor over the life tab, and then click on from the drop down box mortgage protection selling system. And within I'd say within the next three or four business days, you'll be able to have access to this webinar right on uh, right on our website. We, we this is being recorded. Uh, even our goofy little uh, audio blips that we've had that's still going to be recorded. And uh, or you can just type in mortgage protection and my name Tim Langford on YouTube and uh, you will also be able to access Danielle's uh, sharing of, of invaluable um, sales tips here. No Danielle, I, I, I have to say you were right on. There's nothing else to add. <laughs> that's, that's, that's perfect. Um, and, and now you've transitioned, uh, not necessarily transition, it's kind of morphed. It's just another progression of uh, incredible final expense sales, and you've always been incredible with mortgage protection. Maybe just a little blip, and we'll leave this with uh, with our listeners uh, as we close out the call. Um, you're uh, uh, transitioning somewhat into federal employee benefit program now and and you've already had a what a banner week last week that you know most agents would would just love a three or four thousand dollar week well you more than doubled that last week any anything that you're finding well i'll set you up even better than that the key there is definitely going in with that confidence and being able to to be well schooled to go in as the expert is that fair to say yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. The key is is that I'll tell you, I don't have a whole lot of confidence yet in the Fed program, um, but I can um, ask for an LES, you know, and I can ask for a TSB statement. And a lot of the times that pitch book that was provided to us, I mean, that has a lot of the answers in it as well, um, you know, but we have a great support team as well, um, you know, to doing that, that Fed program. The Fed program, I, I, I say this in the best spirit that I possibly can, it's, it's comical how simple it is. <laughs> it's comical. I mean, really, if you, if as long as you can get in there in the house and, and talk to them on their level and hone in the fact that federal employees want security, they want security, they want long-term uh, safety, and they also want uh, predictability, and they want to know what their other federal employees are doing. You know, so I mean, it, that is just a total mindset, and it's a little bit of a different mindset than your average final expense and mortgage protection. Um, you know, it's a more it's a more pro professional sale, more a commerce sale. You know, you're not slamming numbers down their throat. You're just showing them how to reallocate dollars. So, you know, with that with that being said, the reason I say it's comical is because I haven't excuse me because I haven't been able to. Uh, I have not been able to uh, meet with nearly as many people as I would like to. So that's why I said it's comical that I had a banger week last week and I really didn't, didn't do too much, uh, in my opinion. That, that's, that's well said because you're uh, – <laughs> and, and, and I tempered that with just saying mere dollars is where, where folks are, are, are desperately trying to, to be at, but <sighs> key word that – the, the top producers, one key word, and, and if you're taking, you haven't taken notes up till now, write down one key word, 
and a lot of this, even though we need you, we will not allow you to take leads from us unless you, we feel confident that you understand what a TSP is and, and the five funds and how that we key in on reallocating. We, we won't allow you to be a part of this program, but the key word, once you are up and running there, is activity. And Danielle is a shining example, as many of you are on the, on the call also. Um, I mean, I see, I see Keith here, I see, see Lily out in Hawaii, Mark down in, in Florida, I see Fred up in, in Michigan, I see Jennifer out in Montana. It's across the board here, guys, that, we're, we're, that I'm very proud of the fact that I can reach out to each one of you guys and say, hey, how's activity? Doug out in, in, in Kansas. Um, that, that you're not afraid to use that one key word, and, and Danielle is definitely a shining example of that. Miss Danielle, you're so kind with your time. I, I appreciate you so much. I, don't, I, I can't express it enough in words, and uh, thank you for, for being out there making it happen. Yeah, no problem, Tim. Everybody make it a great week. Thank you very much, Danielle. Guys, I'm always going to exhort and encourage, implore you to do three things to be an agent to, who, who can make it happen. I want you to be on this call. I want to feature you on this call because you're an agent who's making it happen for your income. I'm not going to put somebody on this call that I do, that I can't prove their numbers. No matter how good you are in the home, if you are are, are, are killing it with 20 applications a, a, a week and yet you're struggling to, to make 40 or $50,000 a year, then we've got to tweak. We've got to be able to show you if you're, you're writing that many applications, then you can be more successful for your family by your income. That's number two. That I, you know, I want you to be an agent who makes it happen for your family, for the house you live in, the restaurants that you go to, the cars that you drive, the neighborhood that you're in. I want you to make it happen, number two, for your family. I want you to be the, the, the largest tither because of your personal income in your, in your church. I want you to add number three. And if you take care of number three, the first two always follows. If you'll be an agent who makes it happen with that family in the field, number one and number two will always follow come right behind. We'll start number or we'll start Tuesday every Tuesday 11 a.m. Remember you are uh, uh, invited to be on our our webinar. We'll start the first part of it live um, and uh, with a live video feed if you're able to connect to the go to webinar and then we'll move right into an executive from North America and we'll be on talking about how to find and make use of your clients monies into an index universal live. You want to double triple, quadruple your mortgage protection, and it's, it, we've got to be careful there because very few times can you use simplified issue with a universal life. Uh, if you're really going to do a strong universal life product, you want to index, and that's going to take a nurse. So even though I'm a simplified issue guy, when the appropriate time is, 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 is happening, I'm okay with an indexed universal life. And you'll learn about that on Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern and encourage you to be a part of that. Go out, be an agent who makes it happen this week. Make sure if you're on, our, on our, the computer, you see that video, click on that. You want to be able to, uh, to start your, your day with that type of attitude that's expressed in that video. Many blessings. Have a great weekend, guys.